Hello, and uh, you join me today on a mission to find all four widespread reptiles. That's adder, grass snake, common lizard, and the slow worm, which is a type of legless lizard. We're at our first location today. All of the locations today are uh, less than three miles away from Eastley Town Centre, and I must mention when I say I'm looking for the four widespread reptiles that doesn't necessarily mean that they're common in fact uh, mainly due to overdevelopment uh, they tend to be restricted to areas like this so we're lucky enough to have at least a little bit of green space uh, at this site I'm expecting to find adders and slow worms so let's let's have a look. Right, well this is a location where I've previously seen adders, two males and one female. And they don't appear to be here anymore, but there is another site just uh, not far at all away where that where I think they may have moved to. Just a little note on the weather conditions, it's about 14 degrees Celsius. Mostly blue sky, a few little clouds around. Quite good conditions for looking for reptiles. Don't want it too hot because they'll be uh, rather fast. Um, but they need a bit of sun out to encourage current gen to come out and bask. So we're just walking over now to the other site. I'll just resume recording if, uh, if I see anything. Just in here. Okay, well I've had a quick scan with the binoculars. Didn't see anything. Let's just try and get in a bit closer. If anything, they're going to be along the uh, the edges. There's one there. The male adder, freshly shed. And that could have been one of the ones that that other location I was talking about. You can see the silvery colour and the black zigzag. Okay, so there's your adder. Will you let me get any closer? I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. I'm going to go for a picture. He's just, uh, I think he's aware of my presence now. He's just starting to move on. Just stay very still, he might not retreat. He's lifting his head up there. Having a good sniff of the air. Sniffing maybe for females. Got to try for some more pictures. I'm trying to get pictures uh, showing the head markings so that I can identify them later on. 
so that's your adder, Vipera berus, the UK's only venomous snake. Um, like I said, that was a, a male, freshly shed, as you can tell by the silvery colour, silvery white colour. When they're not shed, they're more uh, got a brownish background colour, but the zigzags are usually, uh, usually black, and that's how you can tell the difference between a male and a female. Because the male, the females, have a brown zigzag. And we're just walking over now to, uh, we're still at the same location, but there is another site that we found yesterday where there were two adders, so we shall have a look over there and then we'll just have a little quick look for some slow worms. Right then, let's just lift up this felt. Slow worms like to hide under bits of things, and there you go. I used the blue spotted one as well. We'll have a closer look at this one. It's a male. He's got nice blue spots on him. And he should be fairly calm as it's quite cool. I'm just put him down there for a second. And there you go. Alright, I'm going to take a picture. So there's the uh, male slow worm. You can see the blue spotting on the body. Not every slow worm has these. Annoying little blade of grass over there. So yeah, this is actually a lizard. It's not a snake. It may appear snake-like, but it's a lizard with no legs. And there are various ways to tell the difference. Um, I'm going to pick them up and see if I can them. Oops. Okay, okay, calm down. Please, uh, certainly woke up now. What I was going to try and demonstrate was the fact that they blink. But, um, I shall find other slow worms, so we shall leave that one be. I should have some slow worms under here. I think maybe a female. Oh, there's a nice little bundle there. Actually, they're both both males. Or is that a female there? I'm not sure. Um, this one's definitely a male. We've got at least three there. Is he going to let me pick him up? Yeah. Okay, so for the males, you can see a rather plain coloured, um, just a pale brown, sometimes greyish should find a female at some point during the day to demonstrate the difference. The males have got bigger heads and like I said, rather plain colouring. And now he's, just, he's got his tail stuck up in front of the camera. I'm actually going to just uh, refocus the camera. Okay, so now I've focused the camera. So, as I was saying earlier on, the slow worms differ from snakes because they have eyelids and snakes don't and they can actually blink which I'm hoping that he'll demonstrate for us come on give us a wink well um, I don't know if he's going to play ball or not he may have just winked then actually and uh, they flicker their tongue like snakes to smell the air uh, but their tongues are less forked than a snake. They have more, they have like a triangular notch cut out of their tongue rather than a distinct fork. And the other difference, which is more lizard like, is their tail. Oh, he's, uh, there, he's licking his tongue there, having a sniff of the camera. Alright, mate. So, as I said, there are uh, their tails. He's got his tail uh, stuck in my watch there. But their tails can actually um, separate from their body. If they're threatened, they're being attacked by something. They can drop their tail and leave that behind, which wiggles around. And hopefully the, uh, the attacker will take the tail and leave the slow worm to wriggle off. And the tails usually grow back, but they never grow back fully. They're always like a little stump. And I'm going to put him back now. There 
take that and fell off. Oh, there you go. I'll just put this felt back down on top. This is, it's not heavy, so uh, won't harm them. Okay, so we're here at another site now. Uh, here we can find adders, slow worms, and common lizards. So, uh, this site is currently having some work done on it uh, because the adjoining area, which we can see over here, is unfortunately going to be developed on. But something positive is coming out of that. Just, uh, just to let you know that there, we have found adders in this area, common lizards, and probably slow worms as well. Uh, they're going to be moving a, a household waste dump here but they're going to be moving all the adders over to this site and they're improving uh, the habitat, planting in extra places for them to hide. So um, this place will be different in a few months time. So let's just have a look see what we can see. Right, here we've got a tiny little juvenile slow worm along with an adult female. Let's just see the female will let me pick her up. No. Where's she going? It's amazing how they can find little channels in the ground. There she's there, she's there coming up there. Let's have a look at this little juvenile. Very gentle. Nah, I'm going to leave it. Right, let's put this bed down. A slow worm there. There's a female. Is she going to be more calm? Yeah. Right. So this is a female slow worm, and uh, you can see it's different from the males. Could do a bit more sunlight coming out. She's got a dark stripe running down the middle. She's much more browner, and she's got these dark, dark coloured flanks. and a smaller head than the male. During mating the male actually bites onto bites onto her neck. No, we'll tell her. And she's a lot more calmer than the other one. And sometimes the sides can be really, really dark, almost black. And you can also get coppery coloured individuals. As I was saying, the females always have a dark coloured side and that stripe running down the middle of their back. So let's pop her back down. Oh, there's a common lizard there. There you go, misses. Hoping to get some better footage of her common lizard. One is it there? Common lizard. They're all rather a bit quick today. Well, I'm at my fourth and final destination where I may or probably won't see a grass snake. Oh my god, grassy! Oh my fucking god, oh, oh, skunk everywhere! Oh, oh, all over the camera. Oh, okay, yeah. So I got, I got my grass here. I can't believe it. That's all for widespread. I believe this is a female due to the more uh, broader triangular head and fairly decent size. You can see I got shit on, skunked up, bit hissy there. 
it did actually play dead. It's only the second time. I'm going to let her go now. See if she'll go back under. Oh, I'm going to need a wash when I get in. There you go then. Excellent. So my mission to see all four widespread reptiles has been a success. Um, I'm pretty happy about seeing that grass snake because it's the first of the year for me and it's well worth getting skunked up and shat on for it. So this is me signing out. Adderos.